Hey everybody, uh, just doing a quick review of the uh, Harbor Freight Central Machinery 5-piece ratchet pipe threader set. Uh, it goes from a half inch to one inch. Um, I was looking to do some three-quarter inch um, gas line and um, I've done um, gas line in the past where I've had to make take my measurements and take it back to the um, hardware store or wherever I bought it and uh, get, get it cut and threaded to length which works fine, uh, a little bit of a hassle uh, if you're not near a store that does it for you. Um, some will do it for free, some will uh, charge you a little fee if you didn't buy it there. But uh, at any rate, I was doing enough of a gas line this time that I figured I'd give this a try for, I think it was $34. Um, and I thought, you know what, uh, if I messed up and it doesn't work out, then uh, I can always uh, take it down to the store and have them do it. But Anyway, uh, in the process, I ended up watching a, quite a few different videos of the review on this tool. Uh, a lot of people had different methods. I'm not saying anybody did it wrong. Uh, I did a little bit differently. Um, not sure. It just in my uh, experience with threading pipe and whatnot, uh, it takes a little longer. It takes a little more time, but I find the threads to come out ideally um, just about perfect. I've tried it the other methods, and I'll show you why in the video why. Uh, the method I do uh, takes a little longer, but again, it assures me that I'm going to have a good tight uh, fit at the end of the day when I'm done um, threading this pipe. Uh, we're doing a three-quarter inch, and uh, I'll get this set up, and we'll get started. So here we are. As I said, we're uh, set up to do three-quarter inch pipe. Um, I've got a coupler here that we'll uh, screw on when we're done. I'm using a little bit of diesel fuel. Sorry for the camera shake. And uh, I'm assuming most of you are familiar with how this thing operates. Uh, you got your dies in here. They're numbered, as you can see, and that's uh, the reason is, is one will cut out two, three, and four, and so on. So as it goes down the th down the pipe, uh, it takes out a little more every time. However, what happens is those shavings will get caught up in the threads and could cause problems. Uh, not always, but I've seen and I've had it happen to me where uh, they'll get jammed in there and it just doesn't leave a clean thread and makes it difficult to screw on the pipes and whatnot. So. We'll give this a shot and see how it goes. Like I said, I'm just going to use a little diesel fuel. I give it a little push, nothing crazy. I start threading it on. Tighten up my vise a little bit. And I'm just put my hand on the end with a little bit of pressure to try to keep it square to the pipe. I can feel it starting to bite in, and I can see the metal shavings starting to pile up. Which I'll show you here in a minute. Now what I do is, initially, just to get started, you'll feel it's fairly easy, it goes fairly smooth, and you'll think, yeah, it's cutting pretty good, uh, it doesn't seem to be any issue. But then all of a sudden, you'll get to a spot where it'll seem to just not cut as smoothly anymore, and it'll bind up. And that's the point where I like to stop. And right about there, I can feel it. It kind of like just doesn't want to turn anymore. I mean, I could put a lot more force into it and really crank on it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this camera and just show you what I'm looking at. And you'll see what I'm talking about inside here. You'll see those shavings. And you'll see those on all of them. And so what I like to do is I will take a screwdriver. Just kind of peel those out of there. I also have my air hose ready to go and I'll get that in one second all right so if you look down here you can see the lights okay well uh, you can see some shavings in there what happens is those shavings will get caught up and smashed into your threads if you don't clean them out so what I like to do is clean them out a little bit as I said I'll pick them loose if they need to be picked loose and then uh, I also have an air compressor if you don't have an air compressor, you can uh, just kind of 
try to pull them out of there, but you'll see some come out. And basically, I just am looking to clean that area out so that, um, you know, when, when I start cutting new threads, um, they won't get jammed down in there and, and mess up that nice clean cut right there. And I'll show you another feature as we get a little bit closer, a little trick I do just to help me uh, cut them loose because sometimes they don't want to break loose. I'm going to keep cutting here. I'm going to put a little more of the threads all cleaned out. And again, I'll notice it starts to clean up. You can see the shavings start to pile up. And all of a sudden, kind of like stops and locks up. Doesn't want to go any further. And you can see there's quite a bit in there now. So what I'll do occasionally, just to break those loose, and go backward a little bit. And you can hear it when you, because what's happening is as those shavings are piling up, they're actually still connected. When you go backwards, you actually break them loose. And now you can see where they just got cut loose. And so you take all this out and that avoids it from getting jammed into your put it back in jammed into your threads and getting them all messed up so i'll finish cleaning these out and keep going Right there, I can feel it kind of stop. I'll just feed it back a little bit until I get to that part where it breaks them off. Come back this way. And as I said, it takes a little more time doing it this way, but I'm not using these pipes for furniture or anything like that. I was actually using it to the gas line, and I want to make sure I have a good clean connection. It's important that I know we're not going to have any problems with any problems with leaks or anything of that nature so we want to make sure that we have a good clean and I'm not saying that if it's all jammed up you can't but I just know from my own personal experience it can be a little more difficult to work on them and you'll see why when I'm done here I won't have to force the fitting on it'll go right there I cut them loose go back out and I'll just blow them up You can see a lot of the shavings on the ground here that are coming out, and that's the whole idea. Right there. You can just tell, you can feel it goes from cutting good to just kind of not wanting to go any further. And that's pretty much the time I take a minute to clean stuff out of here. Right there. You definitely feel the difference in the tension. Almost there. You gotta go to the end of the pipe. Or until the pipe comes out flush with the end of the tool, the die. Almost there. One more time. Clean that off. One more. Right there. One more. I'm going to go one more time.
Huh. I'll taste a little, a little pick or a little screwdriver. Something small enough to get in there and kind of cut it away. Right there. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I can definitely tell the moment it starts to jam up. That tells me that curls are coming back around and maybe causing it to slow down more restrictive. Cut that off. I think I'll go back and forth a couple of times. You can see the shavings in there. Here. Initially, when you start cut taking it off, initially when you start unscrewing it, there's going to be a little bit of a uh, feels like a little bit of resistance, <clears throat> and that's basically just the threads that were being cut. Once you get past that, you're fine. There you go. Okay. And as you can see, those threads look nice and clean. And of course, this is tapered, but you can see that goes on pretty much all the way by hand. Well, this last little bit will be uh, it's halfway in, and that last little bit, once you tighten it all the way down, will clear it off. So, I hope that helps somebody. <clears throat> Again, it takes a little more time, but. Uh, the end of the day get a nice clean finish